praise Master, Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God, God is, is a good, good God. God. God is awesome God, yes, yo. Yes, he is. And this is Henry. I, and I am Monique. And she's my wife. And that's yo. my husband. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so my husband had a dream about Marcus Rogers. And today is January 30th, 2022. And we would like to share this. And, uh, yeah, I'm just keep it like that. Let my husband take over from here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You always know that, uh, most, most times, uh, we have dreams and also visions and God will be also speaking as a, that, that confirms a prophecy, the word of God. Uh, last night I had this dream. I woke up from it and I was like, Lord, why are you showing me something like this? Uh, it's very important that uh, we pay attention to our dreams and visions uh, at the same time have discernment when God is speaking and when God is not speaking or when the devil is giving you a dream. Yes. All right. But this dream came from God. And the reason why I said that uh, if you listen, to, if you follow this video all the way uh, to the end, you're going to understand why I said that too. Mm -hmm. So in the dream, it was uh, uh, it was kind of a, a lot of people just walking by, passing by, you know. Then you can tell there is a set of people on the other side. And I saw a little uh, boy. I saw a little boy, if I'm not mistaken, a little boy or a little girl. But I saw uh, a little, maybe kind of 15 years old or... 14 years old, so standing on the side. So, and I heard the little boy said, or oh, the little girl. So I got confused on that area because I'm from Nigeria. You know, uh, in Nigeria, growing up, little girls always cut their hair. So you cannot tell oh. if it's a boy or a girl. So we, you know, so that was the little confused I have in that dream. All right. So the little boy was saying that uh, Marcus Rogers slept with him. You know, uh, I was like, "Wow, what what's going on here?" Right? And there was uh, kind of uh, some some ladies, you know, guiding the little boy uh, to you know to help that little boy's message or uh, that the uh, incident come out. So. I looked around and I saw Marcos. So I was uh, expecting Marcos to clear himself up, you know, to speak about it, right? So everybody was just waiting to see what he's going to do. So his appearance on that dream, I was hearing in the dream that he's feeling guilty, you know, the way he's looking or standing or acting is showing that he's guilty or he knows exactly what the, the person was saying. And everybody was still waiting for him to say something, but he never said anything, you know. And in the dream, I was so quiet. I was like, what is going on? Like, yeah. what is this? So this is this was what I was saying in the dream. And I never expect or I never uh, wish this ever in... You know, in any person that we always, uh, uh, you know, uh, trust or rely on or just yeah. to believe, you know. So I woke up from that dream. I was just pondering on the bed. I was like, wow, why, why, why this? You know, it's a sh it was a shocking to me to see. And you can interpret this dream. You know what this dream is all about. That's what I see. That's what I'm sharing to you guys. <laughs> yeah. My husband actually been having a lot of dreams about uh, Marcus Rogers. And uh, I have once. But uh, my husband dreams concerning Marcus Rogers is so detailed. And he shared one, you know, some maybe some weeks ago. Um, and we have delayed on telling our dreams concerning Marcus Rogers. It's because we actually have been on the phone with him. Uh, we ha have actually inboxed him. And so a person that we know, we wouldn't make a video about them. 
we will talk to them on a one-on-one conversation with them over the phone. But it's hard for us because we have called him, we have texted him, he will not get back in touch with us, he will not answer the phone. And um, as the body of Christ, you know, we have to reveal what the Lord has shared. Because if it was Brian Karn, I wanted uh, to buy him. T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes. We will do the video in a minute. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> we have to have wisdom on things, too. And uh, a lot of the things that, and I'm trying not to, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying not to be too blunt in this video. I'm trying to hold back because I am a straightforward person. But it's a lot of things that um, has transpired through his life and through his videos that we kind of question. Um, but uh, one thing we do need to know is, you know, someone can still be a man of God and make mistakes. Yeah. You know? 100%. Yeah. So I think people try to look for perfection in Marcus Rogers' life. And that's not going to happen. Yeah. And uh, only only person who is perfect is God. Yeah. You know, and um, everybody makes mistakes. And he's not a God. Marcus Rogers is not a God. He's yeah. a human being. You know, but the thing is, if God is showing this dream, that is telling me that is something going on. Yeah. You know, that he has fallen in a way. You know, if Marcus Rogers watched this video, this is a cry out to God yeah. that you need to repent. You got over, I don't know how many you have on Facebook because I don't follow him on Facebook, but. He got a million or half a million followers that a lot of people are looking up to you and you have a lot of baby Christians. And when we say baby Christians in this ministry, we're not talking about people who just got saved. Yeah. When my husband say baby Christians, he's talking about these people who were, who, who been in, who's, um, let me see, who's been in church for a while, who has supposedly lived a saved life. But they have that religious spirit. They have that baby mind. Yeah. So it's a difference. When you hear my, my husband say baby Christian, he's talking about baby mind. Yeah. But in this case, I'm talking about a Christian who just gave their life to Christ Jesus. They're still learning and they're watching someone that they look up to. And they're looking up to him. And it's not the time to fall. Yeah. You know, and even, even if Marcus Rogers has fallen now, or if he's going to fall in the future, we pray that he don't. Yes. But everyone needs to be strong and look up to Christ Jesus on your own. You have to have a relationship with God. So if people fall around you, you're still standing, you know, and, um, but just keep Marcus Rogers in your prayers. I'm, I'm speechless. It's, it's to be honest with you. I'm speechless on a lot of things that are going on, even with the Indian prophet who has the robe on when he's telling people to get vaxxed and he's got the vax. My mouth is surprised. Uh, I'm not calling him a false prophet, but he missed it that time. Um, it's a lot of things that has surprised me. And I'm like I said, I'm holding back on this video because <laughs> mm. I don't want to be too um, harsh, yeah. you know, because, uh, we want the best for Marcus Rogers. A lot of people want him to fall and I want him to understand that Yeah, they want you to fall. Marcus, you have to go into your fasting and prayer again. And I'm not saying you haven't, but you know, you, you, you trying to do this deliverance ministry, which you're not really ready for. When you are doing deliverance ministry, are your ministers are really the one who's doing the deliverance ministry? You're just standing there videotaping. You're still involved around demons and they're ready to attack you. Yeah. You have to get back with your first love. You yeah. can't focus on fame and do the best video. It will it'll make you fall and caring about what people think about you. It'll make you fall. 
and watching videos that are negative towards you. Even the Lord had us to encourage you and so many people so that many, love you. Yeah, so many times. Too. The Lord told us to encourage you because, you know, you, 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 you've been trying. You might have fall, fail while you were in ministry, but you did. It seemed like you picked yourself back up. And then you fell again. You have to stay stable in your walk with Christ Jesus. If you were in ministry and people looking up to you, but people have put you down and the Lord tell us to encourage you. And you get so many beautiful comments from your fans or your followers. They encourage you after encouragement, after encouragement. But all you do is focus on the negative, the negative aspects of your ministry. You have people who love you, but you focus on the negative parts of your ministry. I don't understand. Yeah, and though, oh, go ahead. Yeah, because that can make you frustrated and also put you in a in a in a position that <clears throat> you seeking for God, you cannot find God. You know, uh, it just uh, it just I don't know. I'm gonna let you know this. You better, you better, like my, what my wife said, go in prayers because this might be past, uh, you know, it might be years ago or it might be in front of you. You just need to go in prayers. Yeah, Jesus said to the disciples, I know Satan is about to swift you. I'm mm -hmm. praying for you. You yeah. know, I just, I, like, I'm, I'm just shocked about this dream. I'm still, uh, you know, I'm just... You know, I don't know. Yeah, because you know, we really do love um we really do love Marcus, but Marcus don't he don't focus on people who love him. Yeah. He focuses on negativity. And even the people that make negative videos about you when you were doing great, they're wrong. And God is gonna punish them for that. Yeah. You know? Um, but you allowed it to feed into your life. And and to be honest with you, I'm a little disappointed and um, not be disappointed because you're human, but I'm a disappointed because you have so many followers who are looking up to you and I'm, I'm afraid for them, Yeah. but I pray that they'll be strong, Yeah. you know, and you, and then you started your ministry and it's just like this and you're allowing Satan to win, man, don't ever let Satan win. Don't ever let him win. That's it. That's it. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to Henry and Monique, go ahead and do so. You know why? Because it will automatically make, make you a, a cool, cool Christian. Christian. Because cool Christians, we, we hang, hang out, out over here. here. God bless you all. We love you guys. Bye, y'all. Bye.